Okay, uh, this is uh, number two, same size. This is uh, 24 by 16, same size, same colors, only a different technique. So uh, what I wanna do is uh, do the background, but this time really thin. Ooh, I hate that noise, that clickety-clack. Okay, I'm gonna do the sides, whoops. And I'm going to Especially the corners, you want the corners totally covered. That's that. There we go. This is much more thin than the uh, the one uh, the previous video you saw, and that has a reason because this time I am going to do the push and the pull thing. Oops, got a little bit of color in there. So let's take that off and clean the brush off a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is uh, really thin, as you can see. There are still some little bubbles in there, so I'm going to get rid of those little bubbles. And now we have the little cups. Tiny little cups, 30 milliliters, and this is sort of a medicine cup. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did in the previous one. We're going to start off with the background color. But this time I do want a lot of that dark brown because I just love the way that um, that sort of seeped into the background. That made really beautiful effects. So that's that color. Then of course the turquoise on top because it looks so good. And then the burnt sienna on top of that because that looks even better. And maybe we'll skip the green and the blue. Hmm, is that something that we want to do? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to put another color turquoise on top of that. And we're going to go back in the way that we did it. So then the dark. Because maybe this is, a, um, you know, just one that's going to be a little bit darker because, you know, you want to spice it up. Then we can finish off with this color. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. So these little cups, I fill them up to 20 milliliters, so that's not much paint. But we're gonna put them all pretty much in the middle. There we go. And then we're gonna put extra paint around them. Like that especially here in the middle, because I'm gonna push up and pull down. And I gotta be quick, push up and pull down, push up and pull down, there we go. And I'm going to torch it because I want some bigger cells. I do like the color combination. And I do like the cells. But now I'm sort of waiting for something to happen with what's touching the sides to see if that's going to happen. I am going to move it a little bit up and down, that way, this way, down here, back up like that. Mm, is that sharp enough? Let's see. Mm, that's okay. I really like those little ones. I'll give you a close-up in a bit because they have really beautiful outlines. Um, I do see it working, so it's doing something to the background, but I'm going to add a little bit more paint. 
just a little bit here and a little bit up here. And of course I'm moving it just a little bit. Oh, that is really a beautiful side. Look at that. That is really pretty. Although I would have liked that to pop up too. See how those are covered with uh, the, the top collar? No, it's not going to do anything. Well, you'll just have to live with it. I'm going to let it come down here a little bit. I do want it to go over the sides. Gonna stretch it down here. And there that goes. And I want all to stretch back. That's it. I don't want to stretch it anymore. Wow, that I do I really do like this. Oops. Let's be careful with this. Okay, a little bit more here. See, it's always a good thing to have one of these little bottles with paint because you can always add a little bit here and there where you don't want to stretch it anymore. You don't want to put any more paint on the canvas. <coughs> this is a really intense little painting. And up here, just a little to let it go over the side. Okay, I think we're ready. And I want to give you one close-up of this part here. Let's see. There it is. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this one away. I'm going to use a little paint. Here we go. Whoops. And this, uh, every time I get the same question, what kind of paper do you use? Kodak Extra Life. Can't really see it that well on this one. Oh yeah, there you go. Kodak Extra Life. It's, um, as long as the paper is waterproof, you're good to go. You don't have to use uh, what I use because it, it really, uh, it's just about the waterproof thing. That's why Yupo um, works that that way because it's waterproof too, and that's what you want to get into. So a little bit more on top, and I want a lot of this color. And then I'm gonna get my trusty little palette knife and pull it up. Ooh, pretty. And pull it back. is pretty. I just love those colors together. I really do. So that's number one. And we're going to do that again. Only we're going to scoop some up. Put that here in the middle. This is sort of just, you know, to make it float. I want to make a, a full one. Have one totally covered. There we go, totally covered. Now we're going to drop some paint in here.
and this time I am going to use a little bit of green. And a little bit of dark. Come on, give me a little bit. There it is. Cleaning off the palette knife. We always start with a pretty clean palette knife. Not, not that interesting. I thought it was going to be more interesting, but you can't have it all, right, guys? Sometimes you just have to deal with what you got. Okay, one more, and then uh, I'm going to clean up this little mess, and we're going to do something different. I think I might like a little bit more silicone in it, but just in this color. Oops. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, someone asked me to do something. Um, and I thought, hmm, maybe a cool idea. They said, you know, can you do a, a swipe? And then, um, wait a minute, let me get this done. A swipe, and then with a balloon, uh, put the silicone on the balloon, and um, then when you press it in, ooh, I like those. Uh, I want to see what happens. So, and when they asked me to do that, I sort of wanted to see what happens too. So, let's do that right now. We can do that small. If I knew where my balloons were. Oh yeah. So got a little little balloon. <laughs> Those old lungs. I don't wanna have a the balloon too tightly uh blown up because I wanna press it in there. But we're gonna see what happens. Okay. Then we're going to put in, uh, oh no, we're going to do a swipe. Let's do a quick swipe. A little bit of green. And of course this color. Well, let's put this on top. Don't want to take too long doing this. Okay, we're going to swipe like that. Then, I'm not sure if she, if she meant that I should, oh yeah, maybe just this. So we're going to put some silicone on the balloon. Rub it in a little. I think you mean something like this. So here's the balloon with the silicone. I don't think that works. I think the the paint just sticks to it because there's, um, you don't see any uh, cells pop all by themselves. And when I do that, I'm just activating the uh, silicone in the paint. So I don't think you meant that. Look at that. It's, it's just going. Okay, let's clean that off. Now, maybe if we did this, but I need a dark color because otherwise you can't see it. What I'm doing is I'm putting the uh, really dark color on top of the balloon like that. And then we're going to press it.
Well, I think maybe on a bigger, uh, bigger canvas it would look awesome. It does have that really swishy sort of thing going on. And of course, we can torch it a little bit. Not too much, because then you lose the swishes. Mm. I don't think so. I don't think that really does anything to the uh, to the uh, overall picture. What I really, really like, and guys, if you haven't uh, already checked her out, please go to Pouring Your Heart Out. and um, Or is it Pouring My Heart Out? I don't know. Just check it pouring your heart out or pouring my heart out and she does these balloon uh, s smushes and they are absolutely to die for they are beautiful so go check her out I'm pretty sure you'll uh, be amazed with what she does has a lot to do with the colors because um, like with everything that's art it has all to do with the colors you pick but she does amazing stuff with it so guys I'm gonna clean this mess up and I will see you back, uh, I think, with the transfer. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle.